Hello EMS, it's Mrs. Mancuso again from the School Counseling Office and today I'm here with Mr. Benson, Department Chair of Music and we're going to just talk about all the opportunities that are available to you when you come up to the high school. So thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Yeah. So can you just talk to us a little bit about the music program in general and all the opportunities that the uh, incoming freshmen might have available? Sure. So freshmen, uh, you know, our largest offerings that we have for you up here are our core performance ensembles. That would be uh, band, chorus, and orchestra. Mm -hmm. Those are continuations of the classes that you're enrolled in right now at Easton Middle School. They work the same way. They're everyday classes. Um, very much similar requirements. Um, you know, the repertoire just moves up a level. Uh, and those are open to anybody that currently plays an instrument or sings. Um, or you can get the recommendation of Mrs. Foy or Mr. Cook to, to continue on, and that's totally fine as well. Um, I think that uh, most of you would, would see those classes, I think, very similarly to the way that you see your, your courses at EMS. Um, I would say a big difference is we do not travel to Six Flags. However, every couple of years up here, we try to do a sort of a bigger trip for you guys, so something a little bit, uh, a little bit more involved than that. But, but that I, w I would say is the big key difference um, between the uh, the middle school and the high school performing ensembles. Um, unlike at EMS, we actually have several electives that you can also take in our department, and many of those uh, students that are not currently enrolled in band, chorus, or orchestra are eligible to take. So you can be involved in the music department at OA if you don't play or sing in one of the core ensembles, mm. which is a little bit different than at EMS. And it's a really nice opportunity. Uh, and so classes that you could take uh, would be theater arts. We have a theater arts course here that actually we're working on adding a second level of that a music theater class uh, right now. Um, but theater arts is taught by our choir director, Miss Ryan. Wonderful class. You get to explore all the different uh, elements of performing in theater. Uh, we offer a music technology course. Um, it's called Beat Writing and Music Technology, and that's a really great class. We learn a little bit of light music theory, but a lot about computer music uh, and how you can compose and arrange um, pieces and we incorporate some elements of video production in that class as well um, and it's very project based so we we put together uh, you know uh, all kinds of stuff ringtones we score films all cool we, we have a great time there um, we also offer two levels of guitar so if you're looking to pick up uh, acoustic guitar we have guitar one and guitar two mm -hmm. so if you're if you're an incoming eighth grader and you have experience you can also uh, skip right to guitar two you would just have to go talk to one of your music teachers at the middle school uh, to get that recommendation so we would know where to place you um, but we actually have a supply of guitars here mm. so you you don't even need to provide your own guitar um, we can give you guitar and you learn to play and that that class actually performs a couple times of year uh, a year at um, uh, the Winter and Spring Pops concerts, mm -hmm. so we do a little performance there as well. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, new this year, we're hoping to offer a History of Music and Film course, uh, which we're very excited about, um, and that will be a study of, of the history of music through the history of the film industry. So you would actually start, um, and it, it sounds silly to say, but you would start at the, with the silent film era. Mm. Um, <laughs> because the only, the only sound that you actually heard in those movies was the music. Mm -hmm. um, many times actually, which was performed live while the, the, the film would be playing in the theater. Um, again, that's a new offering. We're hoping to run that. So you know, if you're not in band course or, or orchestra, that would, as any of our electives would, satisfy your arts requirement here at OA. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see, and another new class that, so ooh, I guess I have a lot. I know. Right? Right. <laughs> uh, another new class that we're hoping to offer next year, this would be wonderful um, if we could get this one going. This would be a beginner instrumental course. So if you're new to Easton or you, know, you played an instrument in fourth grade and it wasn't for you for whatever reason and, oh, you know, I played trumpet in fifth grade and I just wish I had played clarinet so I quit or... You know, oh my goodness, I've always wanted to play the cello, but I just moved here. Then you can sign up for this class. It's where we're calling it um, just beginner instrumental music. And you don't need a recommendation to take it. And we will teach you to play an instrument. Um, it's a I love that. 
Yeah, it's, yeah. We're, we're very excited about it. We actually, we are, uh, I, we can't claim originality. We're stealing it from another school where they've had really <laughs> great success. Um, but, uh, you know, very low pressure. Yeah. Um, we have students that have wanted to start an instrument in high school, and that's very difficult to mm -hmm. jump into a high school band where kids have had three, four, five years of playing experience. So, you know, we've seen that enough that we really think this would be a great direction to go in mm -hmm. um, and kind of give everybody, and there's no expectation that you do anything but come to that class and learn to play an instrument. Um, there's no, no, um, no expectation that you would then join the band or the orchestra or anything mm -hmm. like that. This is just for you to learn if you have that desire. So we're, we're hoping to see a good number of folks sign up for that class. Um, and I, I think that's, I think that's it. Yeah, I think for, you covered them all. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of opportunity there, guys, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, I know, maybe I can come back and learn how to play the violin again. So. Sure. Okay. If I can learn the violin, <laughs> anyone can learn okay, the violin. Okay, good. Um, so clearly, you know, being performance-based, what sort of projects or, um, does your you know, department um, participate in? Yeah, so where we are a, a performance-based department, um, everything is kind of a project. So mm -hmm. if you're in one of the core performing ensembles, our big you know, events that we do are our winter concert and our spring concert. Mm -hmm. uh, the band also plays at class night and the band and the orchestra also play at graduation. Mm -hmm. And those, so those are the big projects for those classes. Now, uh, band corps and orchestra are also offered at the honors level now. Mm -hmm. And so part of doing band for or your course or orchestra for honors credit involves a project that you have to do. And so that project uh, takes the form of either an audition or a recital. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you would like to take those classes for honors credit, sign up and um, you would, many of you already did this, I think 30, 30 or 40 kids from EMS this year audition for district or SEMSBA, but a junior district or junior SEMSBA audition that you might be taking anyway would qualify you for honors credit. So if you're a student that already does that, you should sign up for honors mm -hmm. credit if you're opting into one of the ensembles. Um, and if, if auditioning for something isn't your thing, then we just have you sort of prepare one of those pieces on your own and play it at a little recital in the mm -hmm. spring. And that satisfies that requirement. Um, all of the other courses, like all of the elective courses are very strictly project-based. So in, in music tech, um, Right now, for example, we just did a digital audio sampling project yeah. where, um, I don't know if, a really great example would be the, um, the Fall Out Boy song, Uma Thurman. Mm -hmm. um, it was really popular a couple years ago, and a large chunk of that song was actually a digital sample of the theme song from a 60s TV show called The Munsters. Uh, and, and they wove that in, and so we just did that. The students in that class had to go and find a uh, piece of existing music that they wanted to sample, mm -hmm. sample that you know chunk of, of material out, <coughs> edit Excuse it me. in the software that we use, mm -hmm. and then build an original work around it. That's awesome. Um, it, it was great. We just listened to them this morning. It was like our Friday morning hangout. We listened <laughs> to everyone's projects, and uh, and they were great. Mm -hmm. So that class is is rolling projects throughout the course of the year. Um, guitar prepares for their two performances. Um, but so usually some sort of a product based, we're not really a pen and paper test kind sure. of, of department. So. And now I'm going to have that song in my head for the rest of right? the day. That's so. a, it's a catchy one. I know, it's a good one. Um, in terms of graduation requirements, do mm -hmm. any of your courses fulfill any sort of requirements? Yeah, all of, all of our classes fulfill your arts requirement um, <laughs> that you have to take. And the question that I usually get from my end is, am I able to fulfill all of my other graduation requirements and participate in four years of a music class? Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes. Um, that, is, that is absolutely something you can do. And actually, our, um, as many of the eighth graders will know because they have similar extracurriculars at EMS, um, we actually have uh, some extracurriculars that also fulfill other graduation requirements. Mm -hmm. So if you are in marching band or show choir, then you can get the PE waiver and not have to take phys ed class junior or senior year. Yes, and yeah. that opens up another entire block in your schedule to satisfy the requirements that you might have to take. So yeah. dozens of students do four years of band, chorus, and orchestra and are able to fit in all of their other requirements mm -hmm. as they go. So I, I think where you only need that one arts class, I think that might be one of our um, best attributes that we can accommodate you yep. your whole way through and you're not necessarily missing out on anything else. Right, yeah. So if you are interested in trying to, you know, 
map it out so you do four years of, of music. We can work with students to figure that mm -hmm. out. So yeah, that's a good point to mention. Yeah, can do. And thinking about the future, which I know seems for, especially for you guys, so far off, but you know, what sort of programs or college majors or careers do a lot of your students in the music department come out you know, following or you know, well, pursuing? You know, we do have a few kids um, every year that go into music. Very few go into performance. A few of our kids go on to be music teachers. Mm -hmm. That, for some reason, seems to be the one that they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but you know, one of the, well, I, I think a, a couple things are really important. We actually offer um, AP Music Theory, mm -hmm. and which is a very large class this year, with 13 kids in that class is, <laughs> is an awful lot. But the AP Music Theory class, even if you're not going to major in music, mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of colleges will accept that as your arts credit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, junior, senior year, you can take that class, and that's another thing you can check off your to-do list when you're in college. You don't have to take that class. Um, so I think that's beneficial. Mm -hmm. um, where we're very project and skills-based, I think, you know, the vast majority of our kids don't major in music. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, however many seniors we graduate out of the department every year, maybe four or five major in music. Sure. I think really what we offer is um, a collaborative style of learning that you don't necessarily get in other classes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very valuable mm -hmm. um, moving past high school. So in concert band or orchestra or chorus, um, yes, we, we're learning what we're learning to improve ourselves and to do well, and that's true. But unlike some of your other classes, you know, um, if you get an A on a math test mm -hmm. and I get an F on a math test, my F doesn't hurt you. Mm -hmm. But if, you know, you play alto sax and I play alto sax and we sit next to each other yep. and you're getting an A and I'm playing at an F level, mm -hmm. I'm taking away from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that sort of interdependency, like really being a team all the time mm -hmm. is a really important life skill, Yeah, you know, that, that I think we really touch on in a way that's hard to find yeah. elsewhere. No, I agree. I think there's a lot of skills that carry over that you learn and develop within those collaborative departments that translate into a life skill like you talked about. So that's yeah. really huge, um, no matter what path you go down. And, you know, in talking to students, I know some, you're right, a lot of them aren't necessarily pursuing math, uh, math music careers, um, but a lot of them are still interested in participating in like jazz bands or choral ensembles mm -hmm. or marching bands, you know, at their colleges because they still like that that component and they like that camaraderie so um, we do see a lot of kids do that too yeah and that's i mean that's a great point and we actually had a student last year um go to merrimack college and they were looking to start their marching band program from scratch oh boy and so one of our trombone players you know who had four or five years of marching band experience got a large chunk of scholarship money from merrimack to go be in the marching band that's huge you know and they're not they're okay. Right. But, yeah. but that's not the point. Like he, he loves to play and they were like, oh, you, I see you played trombone in the Oliver Ames High School marching band. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, I did. And they said, well, we have some money for you. <laughs> and, and so we see a lot of that. Yeah. Um, you know, statistically speaking, you are much more likely to get scholarship money for playing an instrument than you are for playing a sport. Yeah. Very so, true. Especially if it's big and, and heavy and no one wants to carry it. So if you play Barry Sax or tuba, keep doing that because <laughs> someone's going to pay you for it. Exactly. So lots of opportunity in the music department. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions, students, you can reach out to your current music teachers. You can reach out to me or Mr. Benson, and we're happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, but yes, hopefully a lot of you will consider joining a class in the music department or one of the ensembles because they're pretty fantastic. So. Uh, Mr. Benson, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, guys.